So in this class we are going to talk about uh, the return statement. In Java, when you use the return statement in a method, you are coming out of the method completely. So if there are any statements after the return statement, they will not get executed. So the return statement is the last statement that gets executed in the method and it returns a value back, the value of the expression that follows the return keyword. So the return statement breaks out of the entire method and returns a value of the type that you specify in the method signature. Okay, and it will not return a value if the method's return type is of type void. So in this method max, it takes two integers x and y and its return value is an int. All it does is it compares x and y and returns the greater of the two. So if x is greater than y, it will return x, otherwise it will return y. So if x is 3 and y is 12, is 3 greater than 12? No. So it will return y which is 12. So in this program where I am going to demo the return statement, it takes two command line arguments which are args 0 and args 1. It is just going to print it out and then it is going to parse it as integers by using this integer dot parse int. I am not doing any exception handling here. Then this first and second are integers. I pass it to this max method and the max method is out here. The max method will take the first and the second and it will compare the first and the second. If first is greater than the second, it will return first, otherwise it will return second. Okay. So let's run this program. So when you run this program, you need to pass some arguments to it. So what we need to do here is go to run as, open the run dialog and for the demo return statement, you need to pass some arguments, the program arguments will pass 4 and 12. What is the greater of the two values? 12, right? So you should expect it to print 12. So when I passed 4 and 12, it did print 12. The first two are nothing but coming from here. We are passing it from the command line. We are passed. We passed it from. So we pass those two arguments to that function, to that method max, from the command line. So you can pass different arguments to it. You can pass eighteen and twenty-one. Eighteen and and five. VM arguments are arguments that you pass to the Java virtual machine. When we come to that, I'll explain to you. But at this time, we are passing arguments only to the program. So the greater of 18 and 5 is 18. So it should print 18. So if you want, you can add some uh, uh, Say that again. Say like argument one and uh, argument zero and one. It was never defined before it was 
being used. It was defined after. So like those Java lets you define the argument after you. No, this args is a command line args. Okay. So whatever you pass from the command line will get assigned to this args oh. string array. The first argument that you pass becomes arg0. Okay, 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 okay. The index of an array starts with 0, right? And the second argument will be index 1. The third argument will be index 2. So on. So now I've just made this a little more better. All I'm doing here is I'm saying max of two integers, this and this is this. See that? So if I run this, so I'm saying max of two integers, 18 comma 5 is 18. So let me run this with a different value now. So in the arguments, for the program arguments, I'll pass 3 and 10. So what's the max of those two values? 10. So it should say max of integers 3 and 10 is 10. Max of two integers, 3 comma 10 is 10. So let me stop this recording.